This is why I wear a hat, okay? Hey everyone, welcome back to the Red Pot. This week we're making steak tacos. Got a couple special ingredients from my friends downtown. I'll explain that later in the video. If you got a small kitchen like me, you don't got a lot of toys like me, and all you're lacking is a little bit of know-how on how to best utilize your space, hit the subscribe button, and I'll show you how to make some great food at home. Let's make some tacos. Okay, marinade for the steak. We're gonna use soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, limes, garlic, lemon, cumin, smoked paprika, coriander, oregano, and orange juice, and olive oil. Start with 30 milliliters of Worcestershire sauce, 30 milliliters of soy sauce, a cup of orange juice, five cloves of garlic, use a microplane to grate them in, roll your limes, makes the juice come out of them easier. Zest them first, get all that extra flavor in there, and juice them. If you don't have a juicer, use a spoon and just like squish it in. Makes it, makes it work real easy. And then we need a tablespoon of cumin, half a tablespoon of cor ground coriander, half a tablespoon of smoked paprika, tablespoon of oregano and a cup of olive oil. Whisk it all together, give it a little tasty taste. Oh, and add brown sugar. That's about a cup of brown sugar that I completely forgot until I needed it. Helps sweeten it up and it'll help glaze the steak nicely. You're gonna wanna use a flank steak, skirt steak. This here is a flat iron steak, which works perfectly well. You want something long. This is also a cheaper cut of meat. This thing costs, I think, 20 bucks for my butcher shop. So I'm cutting it in half just because I won't be able to grill it and putting it in a Ziploc bag, adding the marinade, and we're gonna just smoosh it around with our hand. And once you zip it up, zip it up? Yeah, once you close the bag, you can smoosh it around in the bag a little bit more. Uh, make sure that marinade gets everywhere. You want it well covered and you're gonna set it in the fridge for at least six hours, preferably overnight. Hey guys, just want to give a shout out to Draw to Draw and Tavarina on Queen West. Uh, they're still open. They're doing curbside service. They're doing like charcuterie. They got their own lamb bacon, a bunch of other fun things. And they hooked me up with some green added jack. Added jack. Added jack. I should have learned how to say this before I started filming. But here we are. This is just a herb mix. It's got basil, tarragon, dill, parsley, some chilies, coriander. Can you see me not reading it? Coriander. Mint, garlic, parsley, green chilies. Uh, we're gonna use this in the corn salsa for today. Got this here, they're making their own hot sauce with this little little guy, this little fellow right here. Hey, hey, we know each other. He's a friend from work. Mike <laughs> Brown, or Mike Brown? That's Mike <laughs> Brown. He made this stuff. I'm gonna taste it on camera so you guys can see my reaction because the hot sauce thing is a thing, but. I've tasted it before. It's spicy, but it's also really garlicky. Is that down? It's, it's not a lot, but it's hot. So it's got the scotch bonnet. There's no nowhere we're rolling. Garlic, the onions, bell peppers, brown sugar, vinegar. Oh, and ginger. I didn't see that before. It's really tasty. It's hot. It's hot forward, but it's really good. Guys, if you're downtown Toronto, go check out Drum. They're still serving the public. Help out small businesses and everything. It's snowing, is a hurricane a blowing. <laughs> It'll be okay. Uh, we're gonna make a little... Are the fires of hell oh, a God. glowing? Is the grizzly reaper more? Right, it's over now. No, it lingers. It lingers. Yes! It lingers. The danger must be growing for the rowers. Keep on rowing. We're going to make a small little... We're going to make it a little... Going. I probably should have done this. And they're certainly not showing any signs that they are slow. It's just like working through it. One second. Yeah, okay, it's better. All right, so we're going to make a little sauce with just some sour cream mayo and some of this stuff in it, guys. That's literally it. Um, you can make it a... Oh. 
Obviously, you don't have to use this, but if you're in town, support you guys. I think they were selling this for, oh, it says right there. For eight bucks. Go grab some. It tastes really good. It is hot. Burns. Um, but we're going to dumb it down with a little mayonnaise, a little sour cream, so we can drizzle, it all, drizzle it onto the tacos. If you can't find this, if you're not in Toronto downtown, uh, any hot sauce will do. Make it as spicy as you want. Any yeah. signs that they are slowing? It hurts. It hurts. It sounds sweet because there's like no. All right, let's make the little sauce. Okay, guys, so we're gonna make a little sauce. So, I don't know, it's hungry too much. Like, that much sour cream. I mean, it depends on how much sauce you wanna make. This is sort of a ratio thing, and you kinda go any which way you want. Uh, equal parts, mayonnaise. And again, we got our spicy boy, hot sauce from Drum. And we're gonna put, we're gonna put none in. That's how much we're gonna put in. We're gonna put zero because gravity apparently just isn't working today. Like the world. I'm sorry, Earth is closed today. I'm still burning, guys, just, just for the record, my mouth from that taste test. I'm gonna hit this with just a little. I'm gonna hit it with a little extra garlic powder. Just gonna lose a little bit of that garlic taste. Oh my god. Mike Brown, why did you make this so hot? I'm adding more sour cream, guys. Again, make it as spicy as you want. I probably dumbed this down a little bit too much because my mouth is burning. Last okay. We got more spicy boy. No! Little life tip hack thing, guys. So you can 100% just spoon this on to your tacos, whatever. But I want to make nice drizzles. What I don't have is squeeze bottles, at least not at home. So take a cup, mug, anything you got. And then just get your sauce in there. Into a th there's a there's a ziploc bag. This is why I do the voiceovers, guys. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And then tomorrow we'll just cut a little thing and we'll Okay, black bean puree. A can of black beans, cumin, coriander, three cloves of garlic. Half a red onion, or white onion, I'm just using up a red onion. And dried ancho chili. If you can't get ancho chilies, it's okay. You can use chipotle, you can just use, or you can just use some chili powder if you have it. Whatever kind of little spicy mix you got. So we're gonna dice the onion, slice the garlic, stick that into a saute pan with some oil, get that cooking slowly. I cut the chili in half because it was too big and just took out the seeds. As you can see, everything's soft in there. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of cumin and a tablespoon of, of the coriander. Sweat all the spices out a little bit. Then add the beans in, add your water enough to cover. Cook until everything is nice and soft. And at this point, you're going to need to puree it. If you have a blender, use your blender. I have a little stick immersion blender, so I'm using that. If you don't have anything, Drain off some of the liquid and use like a potato masher or something like that and just beat the hell out of it. It'll be still kind of lumpy, but that's fine. And you want to puree till it's nice and soft like this. Check your seasoning and everything. At this point, if you want black bean soup, I would add a little bit more of the spices in and just add some more water and then you have black bean soup. Okay, corn salsa. Two cups of corn, one jalapeno, half a red onion, two Roma tomatoes, and a lime. And our ajika, it's pronounced ajika, not ajika, ajika. In a grill pan, or on your actual grill if you have a grill, grill your corn, jalapeno, and onions, get them nice and charred up. Uh, if you don't have a grill pan or a grill, you can cut everything off and just lightly saute everything in a pan. Or if you can't get corn on the cob, use frozen corn. 
and just run it under the broiler or into a pan with some oil and get some color on it. Same thing. Take the corn on the cob and slice the niblets off after we've got a nice bit of color there. As you can see, I got some okay color with that pan. Next, we're gonna dice the onion up and add it into the corn. You're gonna to wanna to peel your jalapeno. Use paper towel, I don't have any, cause I don't have any. Grab a glove, cause jalapenos can burn your bits and dice it up. Next, we're going to remove the flesh from the tomato so that we don't have any weird seeds or the gross tomato boogers and slice and dice it up. Easiest way to dice it, slice it up like you can see and then just line it up like that and dice, easy. Add your lime into your bowl and we're going to add our ajika in. Add a little bit of the oil. Again, if you don't have ajika, parsley, basil, mint, tarragon, will work fine. You can just add cilantro in, whatever you guys want. Your favorite herbs can go into this. It's really open. Give it a little taste. As you can see, I'm adjusting it. It needs a little bit more lime, so I'm adding the lime zest in this time, and I'm gonna add the juice in, just to give it, brighten up that flavor a little bit. Also, I think I added olive oil at some point, and I don't think it's on video, but whatever, there's some olive oil in there too. And again, if you want, I added more ajika as well. Add in more herbs. Add some extra seasoning into it. If you want to add lemon, add lemon. Add whatever you want. Make it your own, guys. Make it taste good. Put it in the fridge overnight. All the flavors will marry together and it'll really pop the next day when you go to eat it. Now, after it's sat overnight, pull it out about a half an hour before you're ready to cook. Pat it dry. Season it up with some salt and pepper. And we're gonna add it into our shitty grill pan that I have. If you have a grill, again, use your grill. I don't have one. Uh, if you don't even have a shitty grill pan, use a cast iron, use a heavy bottom pan. However you normally cook steak at home, this'll work. It's for tacos, it doesn't have to be perfect. Get some good grill marks on it. You wanna try to get some color. Also, completely smoke out your apartment. That is the key to this. You want heavy smoke all in your apartment and air the place out. I had to pop them into the oven for a little bit. Afterwards, I uh, pulled them out. They're 125, which after they rest for about 10, 15 minutes, they'll be a perfect medium rare. Next, we're gonna just slice it. You wanna slice it against the grain. As you can see, I'm just trying to figure out which way that is. If you can't figure it out, cut into it and then slice the other way if you have to. And as you can see, I got a beautiful steak and a great camera angle. I'm gonna slice it as thin as you can. As you can see, I got a perfect medium rare here. If you don't have a thermometer, poke around. Worst case, cut into it, cook the way you like it, pop it back in the oven for a little bit. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Thanks again to Drum for hooking me up with the Ajika and the Spicy Boy. Again, support your local businesses. And again guys, if you're liking what you see here, if you got a small kitchen, if you don't got a lot of toys and you wanna learn how to cook great food, hit the subscribe button, I'll show you how. See you next week. See you next week, my outro? Yeah, I'll see you next week. That's gonna be the outro for today.